We have here a question uh, on a person asking about the age restrictions. So, Belinda, have you ever asked about uh, your age restrictions, or do you feel there are age restrictions regarding postdoc in Germany? I mean, you you came immediately after PhD, but maybe what what you also heard in in, in your work environment. Um, yeah. So, I think in general, um, because the German education system is a bit longer than the UK one, in general, people seem to think I was pretty young for my stage in career when I came here, um, because I must have been 27, 28, finished my PhD, and spent half a year learning a language and was ready to start my first postdoc. And most of my colleagues don't finish their PhDs until they're 30, 31, maybe a bit older if they go through the normal German system. So in that respect, I felt quite young. Um, but in general, I think, I mean, yeah, I think in general, there are, you as an employer have so many more rights, <laughs> or as a member of society in general, you have so many rights than you do, in my experience in the UK, that um, I can imagine Germany is maybe less likely to discriminate in terms of age. I don't know. It's kind of just an intuition I have. Um, and as someone in the early 30s, I don't know if I can really talk about age discrimination that much. But I certainly have never felt that. OK, Simon, do you have uh, some comments on that? Yeah, I kind of have the same impression. I didn't see so far anything like that. So I think if you're um, good in what you do, and if you can uh, convince uh, the group or people or department or institute that you can contribute and offer something to them, I think um, you can just join here as a senior researcher, and that's not for no problem at all. So I don't think it's, um, and as Belinda said, like um, here people have their PhD in their early 30s most of the time. So it's also quite unusual, yeah, that um, you're like um, 30 and you've done already a postdoc. So um, that could be also an opportunity. But I think if uh, there are people who are um, who have done two or they're moving on to the third postdoc, I think that probably just enri enriches their expertise and their experience. So they might um, be able to um, apply for even higher positions. And I don't think there's a limitation. I didn't see any evidence of that so far. So. Yeah, Anna, maybe you could comment a little bit on, on, on that regarding the German point of, of view. So, is it, uh, or are people doing a third, fourth postdoc position? So, or what's the system uh, in Germany, or when you should progress within your careers, so, or um, leaving the postdoc cloud, as we call it? Okay, so um, once you've finished your postdoc and, or done one or two postdocs, um, you're actually regarded as a senior postdoc. Um, but for the DFG programs, there are no age restrictions at all. So uh, the only restriction for a Minuta program, for example, is uh, that it should be two to f you should hand in your proposal two to four years after um, completing your PhD. So the only um, yeah the only important criteria is when you finished your PhD and not how old you actually are. OK, thanks for this. We also always have also within the AD discussion, when does the postdoc end and the senior scientist starts? So there's not an age restriction on that. It's uh, just on, on depending on the path in your career. Talking on career.